everybody. Today we're going to make ocean slime. Ocean slime is part of our theme with the news to you and everybody is going to get a recipe this week in the mailings. So you'll all be able to make it yourself. But I figured it would be kind of neat to try. I've never done it before. So the first thing that I want to talk about is solids and liquids. Do you guys know what a solid is? A solid is a firm and stable shape. Like the example is this bowl is solid. And this spoon, this is solid. Now, do you know what liquids are? Liquids are free-flowing substances. Kind of like in this cup I have water. It's free-flowing. And the ocean is water, and that's free-flowing. Even this glue is free-flowing, so that's a liquid. So I'm wondering, what do you think the slime is going to be? A solid or a liquid? Hmm. Let's see when we'll find out. So the first thing that we have are our materials. We need a bowl. We need baking soda. I have some um, food coloring here. I'm going to probably mix blue and green. I'll just take those out right now if I can. We have glue. We need a little bit of saline solution because that's what helps the chemistry in it to make it a slime. We have our cup of water. A spoon to mix it with. And then I'm using a couple of measuring spoons to help me out with the right amount. And after we're all done, you can store it in a baggie. So the first thing we're going to do is take our glue and put it in the bowl. The glue is a liquid. See how it just comes out? Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to add our water to it. Now we'll stir it up a little bit, try and get it mixed in. As you can see, it's very liquidy right now. It's like milk, but don't drink it. Next thing we're going to add is a little bit of baking soda. Baking soda will help it get a little more solid state and make forms. And we stir it some more. I'm going to add a little bit more baking soda because it's too liquidy for me right now. Ok, 
Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of food coloring to it so it's not white. One, two, three, four. Four blues. We'll see how this goes. Four greens. Well, now at least it looks pretty. It's like a mint green. And look, it's still liquidy. So that's where we add in the last ingredient, which is the saline solution. This is supposed to help it bind up also, so it becomes more like slime. I'll start with a tablespoon and see what happens. As I'm stirring it, I'm feeling it get a lot more thick. It's really cool that it does that. And look, it's going away from the side of the bowl. Wow, this is cool. So now I think it's time that I can use my hands and knead it. This is what I mean by kneading it. You want to keep working it with your hands because the more you work it, the more the reaction of all the ingredients will make it into slime. And if it's too sticky for you, you can add a little more saline solution. I'm going to see about that. Let's see what happens when that happens. Oh, that's better. It doesn't have as much stretch, but it doesn't stick to your hands as much. Alright, so now that we made slime, what do you guys think? Do you think that this is a solid or a liquid? Any guesses? Actually, if you said solid or liquid, you're kind of both right. Because it's actually called a non-Newtonian liquid, which means that it acts like a liquid, by forming through and going through your fingers, but you can make it into a, into a ball and smack it. And there you go. There's your slime. I hope everybody has a great day. Oh, before I go, sorry about that. When you want to put it away after done playing, the perfect thing to put it in is a baggie. And make sure that it's all zipped up and then you can play with it another time. Okay, bye!